What's up, y'all? It's your boy FJP. Coming back to y'all with another Fortnite video. And today, I'm about to teach you guys how to beat and become Thanos in Infinity Gauntlet. Here we go. All right, y'all, first things first. When you jump out of the bus, I know everybody's been saying, wait to the last second of the bus, hop out at the last second and pull your parachute right away. Nah, son. Let me tell you this, no matter what, okay? No matter what, you have to get lucky to get the Infinity Gauntlet, no matter what, all right? So just because you're up there waiting, there's still about like 50 other people doing the same thing. So make sure your priority is to get some weapons. Because guess what? If you try and land on the Infinity Gauntlet and you don't get it, you're going straight back to the lobby by Thanos or somebody else with a scar or some shit. Because you know the weapons are OP in this in this mode. Alright? So just gotta have to get that out the way. Second of all, make sure you gather your weapons. Like I said, that's the most important part. There's so many strong weapons. Okay? You want to make sure you get ammo. You want to make sure you get mats. And you want to make sure that you kill everybody where you land. Immediately. And stay away from Thanos for the first couple, first like, first like circle or so. Because you don't want to be Thanos that early. You're not going to survive the whole game like my. Right? All right. Third thing, okay? Always make sure you know where Thanos is. Even though you are not, you might not be close to him, make sure you know where he's at. All right, because if he's coming your way, you definitely want to hide for a bit. That's the main key. You can't just take Thanos head on unless you're ninja or some shit like that. All right? There's a lot of bushes. There's a lot of port of forts And um, there's a lot of jump pads. So use those to your advantage, all right? And also, like I said, you need your materials so you can build because it really throws off Thanos. When he's jumping in the air, his field of view is not as good. So if you're building like crazy, all he sees is your, your planks and he's just going to drop wherever he is. And when he drops, make sure you remember that there's a cooldown time. He can't just jump and, 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 and shoot and jump and jump and jump. There's time. It takes time for him to do everything, all right? He's very strong. He can jump very high. But you got to make sure that you really, really capitalize on those cooldown times. Because that's when you're going to kill Thanos. You're not going to you're not gonna outbuild Thanos. You're not going to do any of that. You're not going to be bare bones shooting at him dead in his face. Because he's blasting you 100%. Simple. Now, let's get back to the stealth portion, okay? There's bushes and there's port forts like I mentioned before. If you find a bush, use the bush because nobody will see you. In this mode, everyone's just trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet. Everyone's going crazy for it. If people just want to get a solo win, they play solos. People want to beat Thanos in this game, all right? Or they want to beat him. So here's what you do. You be stealthy with the bush. Anyone comes around, you kill them, take their loot. It only makes you stronger, all right? Then, once you get to the smaller circles, all you got to do... Make sure you pick up your port forts all right? Nine times out of ten when people use a port fort they're right dead in the middle of it, and you know they're right in there. So when Thanos sees a port fort go up, he's like, oh, snap, he's right in there. I'm just going to jump and just smash the whole thing. Wrong. What are you going to do? You, you can throw the port fort a lot farther than you think. You take that port fort you throw it while you're in the bush, okay? Even if you don't have a bush, it's still good to do. You throw the port fort he goes, tries to smash it. When you when he lands from his smash, okay, you you light him up with that scar. You're gonna have a scar for sure. If you made it that far, you definitely have a scar. All right. Get headshots. Get headshots. Then when he jumps, okay, because most likely he's gonna jump out of, out of panic because it's it's kind of easy to kill him. He loses health real fast. All right. Then you're gonna move from your spot just slowly because he does. He might not know you're a bush. All right. Then. 
when he lands again, that's when you tear that ass up. Because guess what? Once you're on that last leg of health, you can't let him jump again. Because guess what? He's going to run away and you just wasted all your time and someone's going to come pick you. You pick up that gauntlet when you kill him and you land on the highest peak that you possibly can if there is any high ground, all right? If not, keep moving. Keep moving. You don't always have to smash every time you jump. Only time you should ever smash is if you think and you know. If you know someone's there, use the beam. The beam, you can move the most with you. It, it, it has a cooldown, but it's while it's shooting, right? Notice how I'm using the beam, and I even have to smash them one time. If I ever felt like I was in trouble, I jump. But as you see, I get the victory royale. Simple, clean. All right, that's how you beat Thanos, become Thanos, and win the match. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you will use these tips, and hopefully you'll be successful in your journey to being Thanos. Peace. Oh yeah, and don't forget, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more this summer, man. School's over, exams are finished, and we're ready to go crazy on this Fortnite. And we also got a GTA 5 episode coming real soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Go follow up that Twitter. Go follow up that Instagram. And that's both at FJP Gaming. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.